This video is brought to you by the wonderful Kawaii crew on my Patreon. Hey everyone, it's your Kawaii boy Monty. And once again, I thank you for coming to be cute with me today. Except for this video is probably a little ill-advised. Life has been a lot recently, so um, I've just become completely unhinged. My spouse got really sick. I got sick with other stuff. As you can see, my glasses broke. And my Lolita wardrobe's been pretty stagnant for about several months now. Not for want of trying, it's just everything has taken 15 million years. So as always on this channel, let's do something completely serious. I'm going to be ranking dresses on a very important metric. How edible are they? Hey guys, disclaimer here. This is the part where I tell you, um, please don't eat your dresses. J j just to let you know that please don't take this video seriously. Eating your dresses is very dangerous and also a huge waste of money. And of course, who else is going first on today's menu? It is none other than Angelic Pretty. Bon appétit, everyone! Now, I know, I know this video is very high concept and very revolutionary if I do say so myself, but let's start with something easy just to get a hand of the metric that I'm going by. Let's start with Jelly Candy Toys. It's a newer AP release and it's a pretty obvious pick. I mean, just look at those bulbous, squishy, yummy looking gummy bears. And jelly beans too, if you're into jelly beans. There's a delightful multicolor mini bow pattern on the top of the hem, providing a variety of flavors. A Neapolitan, if you will. The buttons are flat and frosted to give it an opaque, shiny look. You mean literally hard candy? Pearls? Pearls, you say? Just like pearl candy on a cake! And it has some braided lace trim for a lovely, delicious finish. Nice and crunchy, we can't forget about our textures. The type of lace that they use in this one is the Lyrical Bunny Lace, which is questionable, depending on your morals about how you feel about eating Lyrical Bunny. This is a really strong first entry so far, so I'm going to rate it 9 out of 10, depending how you feel about eating Lyrical Bunny. Next, let's move on to Horror Candy Shop. Now, despite the name, it has very little horror and very little candy, but considering the most recent prices on Lace Market, it has a pretty decent amount of shop. While there is candy present, it's mostly held by animals in coffins, taunting you, perhaps aiming to make you hangry. There's some cute alternating buttons going on, but be cautious of the star-shaped ones. Those pointed sides are bound to not have a great mouthfeel, unless you like Captain Crunch. Now, I've been a little bit negative on this release, but it is pointed out that Horror Candy Shop is made of... Crap. I'm gonna give Horror Candy Shop a 6 out of 10, because I think it requires further study and further eating. Next, let's talk about girly sticker. Put bluntly, girly sticker reminds me of a Instagrammable cupcake. There's a lot that draws to your eye, but the closer you look, what substance do you find? I may be a little biased as a sweet Lolita, but I do find the neon pink actually quite appealing, depending on how much red 40 dye is legal in your country. The heart buttons on the waist ties are surprisingly refreshing in their simplicity. Though I will say the it's a girl ribbon in the print is quite polarizing, it can either have sweet notes of girl power or smoky notes of gender reveal parties gone wrong. And of course on the hem there's 500 billion feet of boring heart dot lace to finish it off, giving it a final note of flavorless cotton candy. On the edibility rating, I'm going to give Instagrammable girly sticker a 4 out of 10. Next up is Waffle Heart. Now I know what you're thinking, Monty, we just went through a bunch of lovely AP prints. This looks so boring by comparison and bland at that. Ah, but zoom and enhance. Behold, the waffle textured polyester. It writes itself, it's a waffle fabric. How can you tell me you don't want to eat that? The dress's overall design is pleasing to the eye and sense of taste thanks to the accents of gingham. The front strap buttons are really adorable and literally look like chocolate. However, the ones on the back and on the waist ties lose points for the lack of 3D mouthfeel. Squiggly ribbon? Basically pasta. <laughs> and of course, we love pearl chocolates on the top as a final detail. I'm giving Waffle Heart a nice 8 out of 10. I think it's as pleasant as when you get a waffle at a diner as a treat. Let's look at the Milky Chan the Fawn Necklace JSK. That's right. We're even eating Milky Chan. Well, I only just now realized it hasn't been released since 2009. Mmm, aged dear. Very aged dear. Can we talk about the dotted neckline? I mean, I think it's impeccable. You could just pick them off one by one, snack by snack, like gumdrops. Unfortunately, Milky Chan didn't bring anything of use to the potluck. I mean, gift boxes? 
purses, tiaras, lipstick. Now, unlike dresses, those aren't edible, except for the little gems. Th those, those, those are quite edible. At least the ribbon pin makes for a decent salad. For a series that has so much hype, I'm afraid I'm a little bit disappointed. So I'm going to give Milky Chan a 6.5 out of 10 because it's pleasant, but not quite enough for my appetite. And Milky Chan the Fawn fans can take that score because no one can hurt them more than AP already has. Here comes the classic Melty Ribbon Chocolate Color JSK. So the skirt trim is made out of clip and we already know how we feel about that. But more importantly, Chocolate Jacquard. The Jacquard Looks like chocolate. Eight out of 10. Next up is Flower Egg Garden. Believe it or not, I really love eggs in any way, shape, or form. I am always ready to shell out for them. <laughs> you will laugh. Once again, this dress is made out of clep. Nice. Though let's start with the print. The haphazard eggs, tulips, and rabbit. Kind of make this dress look like a homemade tossed salad, mm. But while the ingredients look quite solid, it's kind of lacking in the fixins, like it's an afterthought. You have the default AP logo dot lace, and those slightly expired looking ribbons on the bodice don't exactly look appetizing. So sadly, I'm going to have to give Flower Egg Garden a 5 out of 10 on edibility. It looks like a pretty good salad, it's just without the croutons. Or the dressing. Or the seasoning or any flavoring whatsoever. Next up is Holy Lantern. I'm giving this one an automatic 10 out of 10 because AP is determined to solve world hunger with how much they re-release it. The zippers aren't edible, but they can be smelted down to make silverware, so. And the next dish is Cherry Berry Bunny. Two people asked for this one and you guys really want to eat rabbit. <laughs> no, but seriously, the bounty of strawberries and cherries is just delightful. There's not much to say about them, really. It's just their presentation is absolutely delectable. In theory, that is. Uh, I actually hate cherries. I prefer a real man's fruit. Banana. And the vibrant reds in the print just sear my eyes just right in only a way that a red appreciator like myself can enjoy. By eating, of course. Easy 8 out of 10 on the edibility rating, depending about how you feel about those rabbits judging you with how quickly you're eating the dress. Let's come to a close with Daydream Carnival. Okay, so here's the thing about me eating DDC. The flowers in the back of the print? Delightful. Sweet. The swirled pillars? They look like those swirly marshmallows. How can you not want to eat them? The engravings and cameos in the print and the star buttons? all add a very delectable, crunchy texture. The peplum melt in your mouth organza perfection. However, I have a fear of horses, and strangely, consuming the merry-go-round version of something that could squish my manlet ass to smithereens doesn't bring me any comfort. And thus, it makes me deeply uncomfortable to eat Daydream Carnival, something that I just simply cannot abide by. I can eat other dresses just fine, but that I have moral ground against. I'm sorry to say this, but Daydream Carnival is just not edible for me. Three out of ten. I've... Uh, I've lost my appetite. Now if you excuse me, I need to eat some real food. I want to give a special shout out to my top tier Chosen One patrons on my Patreon, Amelia Peterson, La Belle de Ramli, Link You, Mary Magdal, and Songbirdo. This has been Monty, your kawaii boy, and remember that every day is a great day to uplift yourself and others. Uh, bye, and thanks for tolerating this one. <laughs>